Welcome back to part two of the tutorial, Fun with Photo Mask Frames. In part one, we looked at using stencils and ding-batted stencil shapes to make our own mask frames, and Alfred's way of producing frames with a softer edge and, a more, and more decorative edges. Now we're going to have a look at Janine, Janine's method. I'm not going to use stencils for this, but instead import some images I've already made in ArtRage Studio and we'll bring these through in the normal way through the photo tab. So we'll add and the mask I want to use is that one. So here is our bitmap in image. Now what we're going to do is control C to copy and control V to paste. And if we go across to the layers here, and there so we've got two bitmaps. We're going to select this lower bitmap, and then we're going to go down to the Arrange tab, click on that, and we're going to this little area here, Convert to Curves, and then we're going up to the colour, changing that red. We now go along to Shapes, Select the quick rectangle, draw a shape over the two bitmaps, and we'll change that to black. What we need to do now is to go to the upper bitmap, this one here, not the one we've turned red, and we're going to bring that to the front using the Arrange tab. Then we go up to blend mode here, change that to erase, and now select, we have the bitmap already selected, shift and click on the rectangle and group them. Up to tools, and we convert to bitmap. Now we go back to the blend mode and set this to erase. And now up to the context toolbar, convert to frame. And when we look in the layers tab here, we can see here's our frame. So we expand this by clicking on the little plus there. And we have our bitmap, two empty looking closed curves, plus our poly curve. So what we're going to do now is going to bring the poly curve up under the bitmap. Then we're going to select these two, right click and delete them. And that's turned our frame grey. And we know that this is going to work. We bring the photo into it. And there you go. Move that photo around. And there you have it. This has got a nice sort of rough texture because that's the way I made it in Artrage. Once again, open up your frames, pop it in there, have it there. Don't feel anything like me, just to check. It's still working properly. Back to the photos drag it in and there you have it. One photo mask frame using Janine's method. And that's the sort of thing I produced using a different mask that I made up, but exactly the same technique. If you remember, in the first one we talked about using dingbats to surround your shape, but you can also use um, Photoshop brushes to shape. So again, that will be very simple. We can go to our stencils to be very quick and easy again. Find our splats. Pop one on. Shapes, black rectangle, select, next 
stencil and what we can do now if we wanted to is bring on uh, PNG versions of Photoshop brushes and you can mess around with these and add them any old how these are dandelion brushes from graphicsillustrations.com I brought a set of them well, quite a few sets of them uh, as a birthday treat last year they're commercial use ones so at some point I might get round them and again you do exactly the same as before group them convert to a bitmap ok and then we can copy edit paste special self transparent bitmap ok paste our bitmap get rid of the old one convert this to frame and as you can see I was getting right on the city when I did this. Uh, this was the page that uh, resulted playing around with that. And then just another simple page using uh, quick shape there. Now actually I did that one with the brush strokes a bit uh, in the same way as um, Sue McLean's video that I mentioned in the first first part of this tutorial. The other thing you can do as well is uh, these um, frames that, again from graphicsillustrations.com, you can transform quite easily in much the same way, copy the image, paste the image, convert to curves, change red, rectangle, change it to black, click on that bitmap, bring it to the front, erase, group that bitmap and your rectangle, tools, convert to bitmap, OK. Go back to your blend mode, erase, convert to frame, expand your frame out, bring your poly curve up, right click, delete those. Another one for your frames, I hope you bring a photo in. You can see it works exactly the same way. I haven't really tried it with other layer masks that could be brought in, and I don't think I have time to do it here, but I think it's a case of just experimenting. And we now have all these various frames that we can quite happily use quite easily so now you have the start of your new frames kit which you can add to as you wish as with all things this is only limited by your imagination I made some of the images in ArtRage Studio, imported them and then played around with them here. I started getting silly producing the dandelion page. <laughs> you can have as much fun as you like and I have to say it becomes very, very addictive. The main thing to remember is that when you've finished with all this and you go to close your page, 
when it says save changes to DigiKit, you do. And I have all my frames here. I'm happy with those. I'm going to save the DigiKit and I'm going to save it to uh, Photo Mask Frames 1A. Give it a name. Save that. That's now done. And I know I can safely close down my, my craft project. I hope this has all made sense and that you find these two little tutorials useful. You can find a PDF copy of the video and uh, the examples of my work on my blog, karenscraftingnook.blogspot.com. So thank you for watching and I'll perhaps see you another time soon. So that's bye bye for now.